welcome Unicums and soon to be Unicums. I'm OK Vader, and today I have a replay coming to you guys from Lovely Potato. He's been featured on my channel previously, and today he has a very, very special game in his uh, board state that he would like to show you guys. Now, I don't really know why he loaded HE for that first shot. However, he is able to rack up 313 damage. And if he had shot AP with that shot, he would have gotten an absolutely insane game in his Borsig. I really don't want to ruin this video, but at the end, the damage numbers that he ends up pulling in this game are absolutely insane. Higher than most tier 10 games that I've actually featured on my channel. Anyways, right now, he's in a position that's far back enough so that he hasn't been spotted yet. This Rudy has pushed up on the flank to try and spot the TDs. However, he isn't able to spot Lovely Potato, and Lovely Potato is gonna end up getting a lovely shot into him. <laughs> That's even funny. Now what Lovely is doing is he's making sure that he's keeping his tank hidden behind these bushes. He's gonna be looking for the shot into T44-100, and he's gonna get it. Securing his second kill of the game. Just less than two minutes into the game, and he's already racked up 1800 damage, two kills, and is he gonna stop there? Absolutely not. He's gonna get a shot into the AT8, securing 2500 damage in total. And just look at this tank. It. Its profile is just so small that with these bushes, he's able to keep his tank hidden from these enemy reds, and he's gonna get a beautiful shot to the IS3. And look, he hasn't even been. Oh, there he gets spotted. Never mind what I was saying. But now he is gonna wait for his camo to reset. And for any of you guys wondering, to reset your camo, it takes around. 8 to 10 seconds. I've heard some people say that it takes 8 seconds. I've heard some people that say 10 seconds. I'm really not that sure. However, if you guys are having trouble kind of keeping track of when your camera resets, just look at your uh, reload bar and it'll show you seconds until you actually reload. And that's, for me, that's how I keep track of my reload counter. It makes it much easier if I'm reloading, if my gun takes 8 seconds to reload, I'll just wait for my gun to reload, and then I'll poke out, and I'll know that I'm unspotted. And now what Lovely is doing is he's using this bush to his advantage. Whenever he pokes out, he's poking out behind his bush to give himself the maximum amount of camo that he can have. However, this bush isn't going to be able to do enough for him. And he is going to get spotted. Now, things are going to get a little tense now because a tier 7 med has just sneaked up behind him. Somehow he's going to bounce on Lovely. And Lovely is just going to move up to this next rock. And just look at this. He's resetting his camo. He's poking out for his... He's not going to be able to get this shot. But... Just that situational awareness. Lovely knew exactly what to do when he saw a guy sneak up behind him. He just relocated, moved to the next rock, and just got in. And look at this position. What he's, what is happening right now is there's a rock keeping him covered from that guy while he was able to shoot the IS-3. Lovely definitely knows what he's doing. And he's just going to poke over here, and he's going to take this guy out. Securing 6,300 damage. Do you guys understand how insane that is in a tier 8? <laughs> and now what Lovely is going to do, he's going to ask his teammate if he can get the last kill. But what you guys have to understand is that this game wasn't even that hard. It's just being in the right spot at the right time. I mean, it is on mines, but it's still a very impressive game from Lovely to secure 
anything over 4k in a tier 8 is impressive, let alone 6k, and Lovely is gonna be take it to the house with this final kill, securing 5 kills. He's even blocked 320 damage in a boar sake. 6,646 damage in a Borsig, especially after the Borsig has been nerfed, is absolutely impressive. He's going to get the mastery. And on to the next game, we have player numbers in his grill. And I do have quite a few people asking, where should I go in a tank destroyer on this map? And this is where you should go on a tank destroyer on this map. This little bunker here is perfect for the grill because it has a bush to keep it hidden or any other tank destroyer, especially like a Fosh because it's low down, it can use its camo. Just like that, 30 seconds into the game, he's going to secure 624 damage. And look at what he's doing. Whenever he gets a shot off, he pulls into cover. Waits for his camo to reset before pulling out again. And just, yeah, look at look at what he's doing. He's waiting for himself to fully reload. That's the approximate time that it would take the grill to reset its camo. He is running the camo net on his grill from what I saw when he loaded into the game. So he is going to use that to his advantage soon. The CA U100 is going to feel the wrath of this guy's gun soon. The accuracy on the grill is absolutely amazing. In these types of positions, it can, yeah, just look at that shot. It can just absolutely work its gun <laughs> using that great accuracy. And just a minute and 30 seconds to the game, and he has already racked up an impressive 2,340 damage. His teammates are starting to die now, and it's only a matter of time until this game starts to get really close. And look at what he's doing in the chat. He's telling his E75 to pull back. This is exactly what you should be doing in these types of situations. You should be communicating with your team. Not enough. I see people just raging after the game, complaining, but what you should be doing is you should be communicating with your teammates if you are not doing anything and he's telling his Yegu and Hunter to move back because he sees that that Yegu and Hunter on the right is pushing him. Now that Yegu and Hunter on his team is actually going to end up dying. He is not going to be able to take out the enemy Yegu and Hunter because he's just going to end up bouncing all his shots. So that's just going to make this game just that much harder for player numbers to bring back and carry. The Reds have already taken out three of his teammates. He's only taken out one of their... The Red guys. <laughs> and three minutes into the game, four guys have been taken on his team. And that low roll... I would be absolutely infuriated if I got that low roll on that Jaeger and Herd because now that means he has to wait for his full reload, he waits for his camo to reset, tries to blind shot that Jaeger and Herd, and luckily the enemy grill doesn't hit his HE shot, otherwise this would have absolutely cost this guy his game. He's going for the one shots. And that shot, I feel like it just went to thin air. I don't know where it went. But he's at 4,200 damage, and he's waiting for his camo to reset before he pokes out. He's seen where his teammates are. He notices that one guy is, they're both down below him, but one guy is behind him, and one guy is directly in front of him. So this right flank is absolutely open. The only person guarding it is player numbers in his grill. He sees a lone E75 poke out. He's gonna go and shoot him and this grill is gonna narrowly miss him. As the enemy hops onto the cap, that is just gonna give 
that much more pressure to player numbers and he's this is actually the right thing what I, that I would do in my opinion he's going down to try and separate himself from the enemy and try and focus down that grill that's isolated on the right his teammate is brawling with the E75 they are gonna be able to pick him up I believe actually he's gonna go down here securing the kill yeah there we go his teammate actually gets a shot on him and then he takes him out so 5200 damage later the enemy team is at 50 cap points and he has got to boogie because there's still a grill in front of him he has to take out that grill before he can move on to the guy in the cap and the clock is ticking fast they have a 140 that could possibly stop him and he is gonna take a shot from the grill he's gonna miss his shot <laughs> that just made the game that much harder for him and he is gonna actually that grill would have out reloaded him I'm surprised that grill didn't get his shot off maybe his gun was too high up because he did back up a bit I just look at the cap the caps at 92 and <laughs> his teammate it's just going to barely be able to reset this. As soon as it hits 99, oh, it would have hit 100 and they would have capped out. But luckily, he's able to move over and take this guy out, securing 6,176 damage. And even though there were some missed shots, overall, this game demonstrated how you should play the grill on Normandy. And knowing when to reset your cam out, knowing went to poke out he demonstrated that very well in this game and yeah big shout out to you thanks for saying the replay in i hope you viewers enjoyed and if you did don't forget to hit that like button and i'll see you in the next one bye bye